Uh, we're the Dugan family. I'm Corey. This is my wife, Carrie, and we have... Hi. Ava. That's Ava. She's three. Eli. Well, I'm Grace. Everett. And this is... Can you say your name? Rosie. Her name's Rosie. <laughs> She's two. Uh, we have three biological children. We have Eli, Grace, and Everett. And a few years ago, we were blessed to have, welcome two more kids with Ava and Rosie. They are biological sisters, so it's nice that we get to keep them together and they can grow uh, together uh, as sisters. We played sports at the LC for, I think, a combined 17 seasons. Eli started when he was kindergarten and played all the way through sixth grade. Uh, Grace is at, started in first grade. She's now in sixth grade. And Everett started in kindergarten and is playing in, in fourth grade this year. So we've spent a lot of time in LC sports. And I've coached, I think, every season except for one. Uh, yeah, every season except for one, I've been a coach. And then Carrie coached one year with Grace. I did. I coached one year with Grace, and that was also the year that Ava came to stay with us. So Ava was on the court with us as well. So we were talking about uh, winning it uh, with teamwork, and so uh, we can always uh, work together as a team to overcome problems and enjoy victory. Teamwork to me is everyone working together for a common goal, uh, whether it's an odd, a problem, a game, uh, raising a family. Uh, co-workers, uh, if you have a project that you need to get completed, coming together and overcoming the obstacles to get it done together. A lot of times with teamwork you have a game plan. When you have a family of, as big as ours, sometimes there is no game plan. As you can see here, there's not a game plan with Rosie. Sometimes you just work together to try to make things uh, work out okay, whether it's bedtimes or homework or getting people uh, to games on time, to school on time, for Carrie and I to spend time to each other. We have to find a way uh, sometimes to give a little bit, sometimes to uh, sacrifice some things, uh, but we have to be able to do that to uh, just make our family function um, to where we can just spend time and enjoy time and be able to love on each other. One time recently we had to have teamwork in our family was I had a, a, a minor procedure done a few weeks ago. I had to be there in the morning, but Carrie had a uh, she was leading a Bible study that morning, so I didn't have a ride to the hospital. So Eli was fortunately off school. And so he can drive now, so he drove me to the hospital and sat up there for a few hours till Carrie and the babies were done. Then uh, there was a delay in my procedure getting started. So Eli had, for the first time ever, had to pick up Grayson Everett from school. So he did that, took them home, I got out. We had more stuff to do that night, so we just kept playing switcheroo until every all seven of us ended up being where we needed to be that night. One, of, It's really important when you're coaching younger kids to work on teamwork. Uh, at that age, everyone has a different skill level, uh, everyone has different attention spans, and so it's difficult to get a group of, whether it's kindergartners or sixth graders, anywhere in between to work together. So something I like to tell my kids is we're gonna play hard, we're gonna play fast, and we're gonna play together. We may not be the best team out there every year. Some teams are gonna be better than others, but if everyone is playing together, then we at least know that we can trust each other and we're all working for each other to try to score a basket or try to play good defense. Uh, so that at the end of the day, we can know we gave it our best effort to try to win each game. So neither Corey and I have family <laughs> close to us, and having a family of seven, um, we're missing out on some immediate family bonds like aunts, uncles, cousins. And so um, it's important for us to have those connections with other people. And the family and community of Lake Church has really um, filled in the gaps in our immediate family here. And so... Um, in our a connection group that we have at Lake Church, there are probably three or four couples of their families in our church that are our children's age, grade, um, and have become each other's best friends and fill in cousins. who are also the people that when um, we have a need and we need meals or we need someone else to pick up our kids from school or we have um, a procedure at the hospital, then those are the people that have stepped in and provided us meals and done our laundry and um, prayed us through the really hard times and prayed us through adoption and prayed us through our son's um, diagnoses. And um, without the family and community of Lake Church, there's no way that we would be able to sit here um, with joy in our hearts um, that God has put there without them. 
One verse our family resides by from the Bible about teamwork is for just as the body is one and has many members, and all of the members of the body through many are one body, so it is with Christ. And that's 1 Corinthians 12.12. 12.